top 16 comp, which honestly, I was not prepared for. Uh, the three rotor car is definitely the car that I had the least amount of seat time in, and it's the absolute hardest car out of everything that I own to drive. And I don't know what happened. Everyone's like, what did you have for breakfast yesterday? Well, I had no breakfast and no sleep. So maybe that's part of the winning formula. I don't know, something just clicked. And I don't know how to explain it. I just was feeling things that I've never felt in that car. And finally, finally, I am starting to figure it out. It's crazy watching the video because I swear, I am not comfortable in that car. So to have the results that we did yesterday was so freaking cool, it got me pumped. And now, because I finished second in yesterday's comp, I'm going up against Adam, my very first battle. That's how I ended up lining up with the results for today's top 16 in qualifying. So yeah, I knew this day would come. Uh, it almost happened actually a few times at Clutch Tickers, but today is the day I'm gonna be doing proper drift battle against my boyfriend. Gotta love that. calls me out last minute trying to go for a redemption from yesterday I was about to rock out on the comp tire which definitely doesn't have as much grip as what everyone else has been running yesterday he's throwing on some big boy tires gonna make this work a little harder he's calling me out I feel it I feel it a bit of a redemption hopefully that way if you beat us beat us and he can cry his way home you know what three PSI all right we are all set up for our fantasy battle against Aaron now I have 275s on this time because I think he's running like a 285 or a 305 of a big boy compound. So this is the biggest two I got, putting that on, dropping it to one PSI. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
of used up all of the life points in the video game against Losi. I knew he was coming for me, so I might have driven a little too hard. Yeah. Oh, yep, yeah, that wasn't like that before. What are you instigated? Coming over here, like, oh yeah, he's running the big boy tires. He was, though. He yeah, was. He was, but you were killing it. You're so fast. I don't understand it. I don't either. The tires I drove yesterday is what I started drifting on in my 350Z stock. This is over here, camber link. Snap. Camber will, will be off, but we'll make it work. I mean, this would have happened in the first outer. I got intimidated, dude. I knew he was coming for me. You set that hard. Yeah. Like, too hard, that's I guess. the hardest you've ever seen. I, yeah, it was. I was like, oh. And I got a little front damage. Oh, no side skirt? Nothing. No, Look no, at the whole uh, door. Oh. This whole part of the car. Is there one extra shop we can get? Oh. No. Well, also, I did my first tap. Aaron Losey, all I needed was a good, friendly rivalry to make me push harder. You know, I pushed a little too hard, now I'm just gonna reel it in the tiniest bit. And hopefully, be ready in time for a battle with Adam. A whole bunch of stuff is happening right now. I just fully offed half of my car, but kind of worth it. Aaron was talking a big game, putting big boy tires on, dropping them low, so I did the same thing. But now, Adam was just doing a fancy battle, and his engine just blew up. So definitely he's gonna throw a curveball into this because if he drives like his Z, which I have a feeling he's gonna end up picking that car, I feel like it's actually gonna be harder for me to chase than if he was in his E36 because it's gonna be a lot slower and the wise fab on that thing, he just hangs it up. I really don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna do an update on my car. We were trying to find the bolt that adjusts camber because that completely snapped off and my subframe has a massive crack in it. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. No. Is he driving the cream car? No! Adam! You're driving the cream car? Might be the only one that works. Well, I guess... I guess Adam's driving the cream car. Remember, what? This will be interesting. I don't care anymore! I don't! Run this over! <laughs> Thanks for bringing back my scraps, Armando. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> How can plastic do that? Come on! Well, did he find a new bolt? Yeah, the whole the alarm. The guy had the exact same one. Sick! Yeah. Thank you. So, that's huge. Yeah. Didn't have to get to it, so that's oh, awesome. It's good. Wow. Well, I guess we're doing this. First battle is against the cream car. Everything's changing right now. I almost off my car. It's still surviving. It was fixed in time. This one is no longer operational. Adam brings out the OG cream car. 12th hour. Haven't seen him run one lap in it yet. Don't know what to expect. This should be a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you one thing though, we got a big battle lining up on the start line. This is the one you guys have been waiting for. Adam LZ versus Colette Davis, both in their OG drift cars in this competition. The FC Rotary versus the Cream 240. You could not write this. You cannot. <laughs>
OSW, hit him with a wall of noise for Adam LC and Colette Davis. Daniel, do we have a decision? Look at the hug. There we go. I think I saw you and Pat Gooden doing that earlier on. I'm not going to say anymore. We may have. So, so a call has been made. Someone's going through to the top eight. Who is going through? Now, if somebody wasn't to go through, that would mean that we're going one, one, more one more time. time. We're going one more time. Dad, it's, it's what the people needed. It's what the people wanted. I'm not going to complain. You guys happy to see this go one more time? Yes. Yes, we do feel Colette had a solid run in the lead, but they both made mistakes in almost the exact same place in outer number two. Adam had a little bit of a kind of a straighten coming across the finish line as well. We're just going to leave it to a one more time and make them give us a definitive winner. All right, guys, I am here with your very own Colette Davis, Adam LZ. Yesterday we talked to Colette and she was saying that she wanted to come for Adam's door and now she has a chance to do that. You guys are going head to head in top 16. What happened yesterday? You went crazy. Well, now you're calling me out. Now, now I'm going to call out face to face. I would like to put some door marks on him. I don't think I ever have. Right? I haven't ever no door marks. done one door mark. So maybe today's the day. I uh, definitely didn't expect to be battling him, but something has clicked with this car. I don't exactly know what it is because personally I am not that comfortable in this thing and I still feel like it's trying to like off me every time I drive it. Uh, but I'm excited to just get more laps in and battle this dude over here. I don't know. I think something happened in Japan because that was insane. Was that? You should have seen the crowd. We were loving it. <laughs> All right. How do you feel? Your girl's out here. You feeling intimidated? I wish she beat TJ because then we wouldn't have had to battle against each other. <laughs> it's going to be fun, but uh, one of us is going to get taken out. This thing's a rocket ship. I've driven the car. It's wild. And now that she like knows how to use the car, I'm definitely not... Uh, I'm not just going chill about this battle. Yeah, I was about to say, people think, oh, what is he going to do? He's battling his girlfriend. He's going to probably drive harder against me than most people and just door the crap out of my car. So it's going to be very, I I'm glad that we're going to put on a display for everybody because it's going to get a little wild. Last and, words? And it's first battle too. <laughs> Showstopper. All right, guys, I need everybody in the comments to be just blasting with who you think is going to win. Clint Davis, Adam LZ. All right, guys, get out there. Good luck, okay? Well, there you have it from Adam and Colette before they go to their one more time battle. Right now, very special what you're watching right now. This is the World Water Barrier Pulling Team. The world champions on track right now, showing you what they do best. Now, Colette has got the more battle experience. She's taken him to a one more time. Confidence is going to be building now, Dan, because she's gone toe-to-toe -to -toe and ended up back at that start line. Adam's got to, you know, do something special here. She's got a podium under her belt this weekend already. Can she do it again? Adam in the lead, Colette in the chase. Bit of a pull from Adam into that first corner. Initially, it's nice and early, but Colette's right there with him. Colette staying in the fight here. She tries this big, big dive from Colette as she goes into the corner. Oh. Almost over rotates the car, gets back up in Adam's business as they come through the inner zone. And across the finish line they go. Adam LC, nice lead run. Let's go! Adam fires in aggressive onto the door. LC stalling up a little bit, staying in the fight as he fires through onto Colette's door. LZ pushing that little Oryx 7 around the circuit right now. Oh, big move on the transition from Adam LZ as he gets up close and personal. Oh, to the door he goes. I would, uh, I would say that that was the most influential battle of this event uh, for multitude of reasons. But excellent driving by Adam jumping into a car that he hasn't driven in quite some time. Absolutely, and I think the thing about it is it's kind of... You know, you might say how much seat time Adams had in that car previously, but things have moved a long way from that car. You know, over the last couple of years, he's got into more, I would say, competitive machinery, more high-level machinery. But jumping back to his roots, showing that he can still hang and give it up for Mr. Adam LZ. Well, we have got a winner. We have got a decision from our judges, Pat, Tommy, and Dan, and they've whispered it in my ear. And going through to the top eight. 
is Adam LC. Give it up for Colette Davis. She went out on her feet. What a run, Dan. She was unbelievable all the way through yesterday, right to today. One more time against Adam, but unfortunately, the weekend ends there for her in the competition. Otherwise, pretty flawless runs all around from both drivers on both laps. Just a little bit of a mistake from Colette on the follow around outside two, and that was it. Going through to the top eight is Adam LC. Special delivery from Vargas. This is going to be an engine for a build that's gonna be coming up within the week on the channel. But we got special services done by Vargas himself. Yep, so we got this assembly balance for the new engine. So pretty much weigh the rotors, weight match them, and the assembly is balanced. Because you have a new setup at yeah. your shop now. Yeah, we have new balancing machines, so now yep. we do everything in-house. So rotors are balanced. And the assembly's balanced, so it's ready. Dude, this has been the weekend for the Mighty Rotor. We're making people yeah, believe. I don't know what's happened this weekend or if finally the Rotary Dodds are liking me yeah. for once, but this we're, is we're it. Showing everybody. <laughs> First of all, for me to go at least one more time with Adam, I'll take it. That was, I didn't even expect to be battling him, so I'm freaking stoked on that. And hey, he won the whole thing. So, you know, if you're gonna go out, at least go out to the winner of the whole thing. Don't remember many of my runs. I was so nervous. I was like, I was like blacked out. You were nervous at all. It looked like you were just out to destroy people's lives. Hey, one more time with one of the best drivers that I know. Stoked. This is the first event that I, I like that car. Really? Yeah. The car is also the best sounding car in all of your games. So oh, wow. No, uh, no, don't statement. tell that to Dave statement. because statement. <laughs> there's SR20s in, 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 in proximity here. No, so. 100%. Day two for the LZ Invitational. I've had so much freaking fun this weekend, you guys. I came into this not expecting to be as comfortable as we were ending this event in that car. I literally drove the three-order car and thought that it would be the most difficult thing in the world to drive for me, that I had no chance in even my first battle. And yeah, I can't believe I had it one more time with Adam. So I am so freaking stoked. I learned so much this weekend. I don't know if it was Japan or just me really focusing on pushing myself to drive that car as hard as I could, but I am 
completely re-in love with the three rotor RX7 now and I cannot wait to get back on track in that thing and fully dial it. That car is nowhere near its potential. I have off the shelf suspension on it right now. I don't have any crazy long travel, like grippy boys in the back. My toe is completely messed up because we're maxed out on toe on one side, so it's not even side to side. The car has never had a full alignment, and your girl is still figuring out how to drift a big turbo car, so this is just the start of what that car can do, and I'm just, I'm so stoked and happy with how just everything came together. And the crowd and all of you guys were just cheering me on, pumping me up. I had such a freaking good time and I just can't wait to get back on track in that car, which will hopefully be very, very soon. That is it for this one and I'll see you guys in the next video.